Hi, and welcome to OurChurch.com's video tutorial series on WordPress. And on this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to manage the ticket options for events that you have created using the Event Manager event registration plugin. So when you're logged into the back end or the dashboard of your website, find where it reads Events with the calendar icon and click on Settings. Now this page that will be brought up will allow you to manage a lot of different settings of the Event Manager plugin, but for managing the ticket options, you want to click on Bookings and then select Ticket Option. Now some of these may not apply to you, uh, but I will go through each of those just to make sure um, that you understand what each of these options does. So in a single ticket mode, it reads that in a single ticket mode, users can only create one ticket per booking. So if you wanted to limit the number of tickets that someone can um, purchase or register for to uh, just a single ticket, then you want to select yes. Um, but if you want people to be able to purchase one more than one ticket at a time, then keep that at no. Show ticket table in single ticket mode. So if you want to um, have a ticket table, like with multiple tickets, even for single ticket events, you want to enable this. Most likely these first two um, would not apply. Show unavailable tickets. So there will be some unavailable tickets that um, if people have already registered for a particular event. So you can um, choose to either show those tickets and the fact that they are unavailable, or you can uh, choose not to. I would probably select um, to keep no selected there. Um, show member only tickets. So you do have the option when you're creating events and tickets for events to have uh, tickets that only can be purchased by members, not by guests. And so if you do have that, you have the option to show member only tickets even to people that are guests. Show multiple tickets if you're logged out, and this means if guests cannot make bookings, they will be asked to register in order to book. However, enabling this will still show available tickets. So um, it'll still show the tickets that are available, but they will have to register in order to, um, to make a purchase or register uh, on the website to be able to register for that particular event. And then lastly, is that if you have multiple ticket options for a particular event, you can choose the order in which they're displayed by ticket price or by ticket name, and you can select in either descending or ascending order. Now, once you have made these changes, make sure that you click on Save Changes so it records all the changes that you just made. It will refresh your page, and then you know that those changes have been made. It reads right here, changes have been saved. So I hope this helped you uh, get a good understanding of how to manage the ticket options. Please come back and watch more video tutorials on WordPress so we can help you accomplish your mission online.